James's Discipline James soon arrived at Duck's Anger Management class at Crowen's Gate Goods Yard. <coughs> oh. But he was still unhappy about going to it. This is a load of fooey! Stupid Thomas, I don't need anger management, I'm completely fine! Yeah, well, join the club, buddy. Shut up, Spencer, I'm not your buddy! <sighs> well, excuse me for trying to be polite. You know, how about you just shut up for a change, James? Spencer did nothing to you! No, you shut up, fat face! No, you shut- Ugh, would you both shut up? You shut up, Diesel 10! Oh, don't you stop! You shut up, Jay! No, oh, you, oh, shut you, up, you shut up, Diesel 10! Oh, shut up, you're acting like children! Hey, what's game of bus car rabies?! <laughs> what?! Wait now, is that true? Did you actually give up boxcar rabies? Yeah! What the heck is wrong with you? Yeah, how do you give up boxcar rabies? I don't know. Okay, never mind that anyway. Where on earth is Duck? I don't know. Weren't you following him though? Well, yeah, but I don't know what happened to him when I got here. He just vanished from my sight. Well, if he doesn't get here in the next two seconds, I'm leaving. Okay. Good. Sorry, sorry, sorry everyone, I'm here now. <laughs> now, sorry to keep you lots waiting, I was doing something. But I'm here now, so now we can start the class. Now- Wait a minute. Where's Duncan? Don't tell me he skipped class again. No, 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 no worries, I'm- I'm here. Oops, sorry Diesel 10. Perfect. Now, welcome class. Today... Is today. And today, we have a new student joining our class today. James, why don't you come up and introduce yourself to the class? No thanks, I'm good right here. Who? Okay. Uh, are you sure you don't want to introduce yourself to the class, James? I mean, everyone here pretty much knows who I am already, so there's really no point. I don't know who you are! Well, that's because you mean nothing to me. Oh. Well, okay then, James. Suit yourself. Hmm. <gasps> I have an idea. Class, before we start our lesson for today, why don't we all come up to the front of the class and introduce ourselves to James, so he can get to know us all better. But, Duck, we already did this crap last week when Spencer and Cranky joined our class. That's funny coming from you, Goran, considering that you weren't in my class last week. Oh, right. And the same goes for you too, Diesel. No. You didn't come to my classroom either last week. Ha. <laughs> Diesel 10? <clears throat> uh, uh, sorry for not coming to your class last week, Duck. Mm-hmm. Now, as I was saying, why don't we all introduce ourselves to James so he can get to know us better? Would you like that, James? Eh, <sighs> I guess so. Perfecto! Diesel! What? Why don't you introduce yourself to the class first? Can I not? <sighs> Alright, fine. <sighs> Ah, <sighs> okay, what do I say? Oh, right, um, <clears throat> hello everyone, my name is Diesel. And, uh, uh, Duck, what am I supposed to say? Uh, you're supposed to tell why are you in this class. Oh, right. <clears throat> and the reason why I'm in this class is because I cause a lot of problems around the island, like manipulating engines, the railing cars around the shunting yard, and taking duck's bread. Wait, what? No, I mean, uh, 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 telling lies. Very good, Diesel. You may sit back in your seat. What seat? We don't have desks. Old legs to sit down in. You know what I mean, just go back to where he was. Fine. Gordon, you're next. Hello, everyone. I am Gordon. I'm fastest and best, and I pull the express. Really, bruh? 
Sorry. So, the reason why I'm in this class is because I'm usually grumpy most of the time. So, Sir Tom Hat thought it'd be a good idea to sign me up for an anger management class. That way, I can be a much happier engine. Thank you, Gordon. You may go back to your seat now. We don't even ha- Oh, Diesel already said it. Whatever. Hmm. Diesel 10, you're next. Hello, everyone. I am the D10. I mean, I am Diesel 10. The reason why I'm in this class is because I really want to scrap Thomas, but I keep on failing to. And... I towed some lies and caused an engine fight and a bunch of other crap. Done. Ugh. The reason why we're in this class is because we keep on mucking about around the construction site. I'm here because I knocked Cranky over last week. By accident. I'm here because I threw Spencer into the sea. By accident. I'm here because, like Gordon, I'm usually grumbling and complaining a lot and trying to dispose of Rusty's body. Wait, what? I got my head out. He's engine these days. I'm here because I purposely gave up Boscar Ravies. Excuse me? <laughs> ah, Philly. Did you just say that you purposely gave up boxcar rabies? Uh... Line? Yeah, you told us that too before you arrived. Uh... Uh... Police! Ah, oh, crap! Woo! Woo! That's the sound of the police! Woo! Woo! That's the sound of the police! Woo! Hello, hello, hello? What have we got here, then? Officer, this hopper car has rabies. All right, then. You're coming with me. No, 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 no! I don't even know why he was in my class. He he wasn't in my class to begin with. Anyways, now that we got that settled with... James, would you like to introduce yourself to the class now? All right, I will. Great. Hello, Pez... I mean... Hello, everyone. I am James. And the reason why I'm in this class... It's because, recently, I've been both harassing and pranking my friends. Which was very wrong of me. Uh, am I done, Duck? Oh, yeah, you can sit back down. We- Never mind. Alright then, class. For today's lesson- I'm going to be having Mr. Policeman tell you the difference between right and wrong. Take it away, Mr. Policeman! Alright, alright. Thank you, Duck. Hello, class. Today- I'm going to be telling you the difference between right and wrong. Now first, we're going to be starting with wrong. Now, you see this hopper car over here? He has rabies. And what you don't want to do when you see a hopper car with rabies is to get close to them and get infected by it. You know, like the coronavirus. If that's even on soda or it even exists in this universe. Anyways, that is the wrong thing to do. However... The right thing to do when you see a hopper car with rabies is to inform the police about it, that being me, so we can take care of the problem. That is the right thing to do in this situation. Alright, thank you. Have a good day. Eh? Well, that was quick. Alright then, class. Now that that's over with, let's get on to- <laughs> What the- <laughs> Say still, stop resisting! <laughs> Oh, fooey! Oh, crap! The hopper car has gone rogue! Oh, crap! Oh, no, I'm out! Same! Fly, you fools! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, Max! Let's get out of here! You don't have to tell me twice, Monty! <laughs> Bollocks! Come on! <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, no! Oh, no! Error! Error! <laughs> Ugh, cars with diseases make me go friggin' bonkers! <laughs> oh no! I'm trapped! Wait, how'd you get here before me? No idea. Oh, hell! Huh? <gasps> oh dear. <gasps> Duck! Ah! Ha! Ah! Ah! James, you just saved my butt. I, I, I met my life. Well, 
You saved my life all those months ago, so I thought I'd return the favor. Thank you, James. You're welcome, Duck. A few moments later. Well done, Jason. Well, actually, it's thanks for stopping this hopper car for me. You're a really useful heroic engine. Hmm. Alright then, you. Time for you to meet a little friend of mine called the Electric Buffers. Oh. Hmm. You are right there, James? Yeah, Duck. I'm feeling great, actually. That's good to know. Thanks again for saving me, James. No problem, Duck. It's the least I could do for being so horrid to everyone. Hey, James, if you don't mind me asking, why were you being so horrid to everyone? It, it's a little silly. No, it's fine, James. You can tell me. Okay. Well, it's just that after I threw that station party last week, Sir Tom had threatened me that if I do something stupid like that again, he'll send me away from Sodor. That got into my head enough as it did. But then afterwards, or after that day, I should say, Engine started shaming me for throwing that party and causing them all to get into trouble with Sir Tom had because they also went to it. I tried to make it up by cleaning the mess at Naffer Station and pulling cars, but no one really cared. They just kept on shaming me for throwing that party and getting them all into trouble. I know throwing that party was a mistake, but I was trying to learn from it. But it seemed that no one seemed to see that. And I thought that a way for me to forget about it all would be to be rude to all of them back. I thought being a horror would help me forget my troubles, but it didn't. It just made me feel worse about myself. <sighs> I'm sorry, Duck. I shouldn't have been so rude to my friends. They deserve better. Don't apologize to me, James. Apologize to your friends. Yeah, but what if they don't forgive me? I'm sure they'll, f they'll forgive you if you just say that you're sorry to them. You're right, Duck. I'm going to say sorry to my friends for what I said to them and try to prove myself worried to both them and Sir Tom had so I can stay on Sodor. Excellent, James. That's exactly what I like to hear from one of my students in my class. And hey, I know how you feel. I've done some bad deeds in the past before, too, and it took me a while for, you know, everyone to forgive me. It didn't work for a while, but it soon did after I saved you and Toby. It did, didn't it? That's right. Duck? I know what I have to do now. <laughs> oh, and by the way, Duck? Yes, James? I was wondering if I could come back to your class next week. I think this little talk helped me out with the problems that I'm dealing with right now. Of course you can come back again, James. Anytime you feel like it. Thanks, Duck. Bye! Cheerio, James! <laughs> I don't mean to make this scene comical, but can someone please help me? Hey, everyone. Hi, James. I was in your management class. It was actually pretty good, not gonna lie. Oh, and by the way, everyone. I'm truly sorry for acting so horrid around you all the other day. Can you ever forgive this sad, silly little engine? Well... Hmm... Of course we can, James! Everyone deserves a second chance! Oh, thank you, everyone. I promise to be a better engine in the future. I think I'm gonna like this new James. Turntable noises, turntable noises. <laughs> <sighs> hey, Goran, what happened to you back there? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs>
Nah, just kidding. I haven't learned anything. She was son of a...